Hi, I'm MJR Invests. In this video we'll discuss a really interesting document that Vanguard have just published. It's a 24 page economic and market outlook for 2024 and beyond. Stick with this video as there's some amazing advice in there as Vanguard expects a market shift away from what we know. That is, they are advising a shift away from the USA and also a shift away from growth stocks to more stable defensive stocks. Vanguard have said for more than a year that a return to sound money was underway. This means they expect policies to become increasingly restrictive to try curb inflation. As economic resilience fades, central banks will be in a position to reduce interest rates. However, interest rates are expected to settle higher than before the COVID-19 pandemic. This means zero interest rates are a thing of the past. A higher interest rate environment is here to stay and cheap money has gone. What this means for investors is that Vanguard expects profitable companies with good asset to liability ratios to be the strong investment and those who are not turning profit and have unrealistic growth to be disappointing over the next few years. This contrasts with what we've seen in the past few years with crazy market caps for stocks making no money. This is great news for those who invest in dividend paying stocks and defensive stocks and those with a long term investment mindset as this reflects a return to sound money. In terms of the economic forecast and interest rates, Vanguard expects growth in the USA, UK and Europe to be around 0.25 to 1% annually and China to be around 4.5 to 5%. Interest rates are expected to drop around 1.5% in the US, 0.75% in Europe, 1% in the UK and 0.3% in China. Interest rates will remain higher in the UK than Europe as the UK is suffering from the worst of both worlds. A US style labour supply shock and a Euro area style energy shock. The first half of 2024 is expected to be quite bumpy as most of the interest rate cuts are expected in the second half of 2024. Bonds are back. I have to admit, in my three years of investing, I've never touched bonds. However, Vanguard predict bonds to perform very well over the next decade. Global bond markets have repriced significantly over the last two years because of the transition to higher rates. In Vanguard's view, Bond valuations are now close to fair. For US bonds, Vanguard now expects a return of 4.8 to 5.8% annually over the next decade. For international bonds, they expect somewhere between 4.7 to 5.7%, which is much higher than the 1.3 to 2.3% when interest rates were low. If reinvested, the income component of bond returns will eventually offset the capital losses experienced over the last two years. Vanguard have a strong message on this. The rise in interest rates is the single best development for bond investors in the past 20 years. Next up in the document is that higher rates leave equities overvalued. A higher rate environment depresses asset price and squeezes profit margins as corporations find it more expensive to issue and refinance debt. This means value stocks will be more attractive and low cap stocks will be attractive for the long term. US equities have performed well over the past two years due to the strength of the US dollar. However, this is likely to reverse. This means an increased likelihood of greater opportunities outside of the US. Vanguard expects the US stock market to return 4.2 to 6.2% annually over the next 10 years, but expects 7 to 9% from non-US developed markets such as Europe, and 6.6 to 8.6% for emerging markets such as Latin America and Asian Pacific markets. One way US companies could combat this is by increasing international sales. A depreciating US dollar increases the value of offshore earnings, a significant factor given the international sales and earnings of many large US companies. However, Vanguard view US equities to be about 12% overvalued at the moment, due to the upcoming depreciation of the dollar. To pull all of this together, Vanguard have published this figure on how stock and bond valuations have changed in the last year. Here you can see the valuation of different investments and they are categorised into undervalued, fairly valued and stretched, meaning overvalued. The white circle for each reflects the valuation as of September 2022 and the coloured circle represents this year. We can clearly see that emerging markets have swayed even more into the undervalued category, as have short, intermediate and long-term treasuries. Small cap, non-US stocks are also still undervalued, however if you look at the top at large US equities, they are being pulled even more into the overpriced area, as have growth stocks and high yield credit. Non-US developed markets are still fairly valued, as are value stocks. This is all very interesting, as Vanguard are one of the biggest investment firms in the world. They expect higher interest rates to stay, 
even after policy rates tackle inflation. This higher interest rate environment will serve long-term investors well, but the transition may be bumpy. US stocks are set to correct, slash underperform non-US developed markets and emerging markets due to the end of cheap money and the weakening of the dollar. Finally, bonds are returning as smart investments for the foreseeable future. Therefore, investing in non-US small cap and defensive stocks with an allocation set for bonds may be the smart play for the next decade. I'll post a link to the full report in the video description. To me, this is the first time I've read advice from a large investment firm that a smart play may be to invest outside of the US. What do you think of this? Leave your comments below and please remember to show some support by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel.